Corneal Iontophoresis The Procedure Apply plaster patch, positive electrode patch, to patient's forehead after it has been thoroughly cleaned. Connect white male lead plug to counter electrode. Connect red female lead socket to the connector located on Yontofor CXL applicator. Connect vacuum syringe to lure lock connector and ensure that stop clamp is open. Apply blepharostat and place Yontophoresis applicator, Yontofor CXL, onto the cornea to be treated. The recommended position is T configuration. The two tubes rest over the temples and the lead connector faces the forehead. Look through center hole of applicator to check for proper position. Applicator should be concentric to cornea. While applying gentle pressure on the applicator, aspirate at least 2 ml with syringe, use thumb to pull plunger and close the stop clamp. Ensure that applicator is secured on the cornea. Ensure that generator is off before connecting electrode leads to generator. Connect lead to generator ion CXL. Aspirate Ritalin Plus solution from bottle using a syringe with needle. Fill applicator until solution covers negative electrode grid. Warning! Ensure that electrode grid remains covered with riboflavin solution throughout procedure and that no air bubbles form inside the applicator during filling. These precautions allow obtaining regular current flow. Switch on current generator, set to 1 mA and press start. Yontophoresis procedure starts and takes 5 minutes to complete. When the iontophoresis procedure is completed, insert a syringe in the lower lock connector and remove any extra recalling plus. Turn off the power generator. Open the stop clamp to allow air into vacuum ring. Remove applicator from cornea and disconnect current generator from applicator and counter electrode. After washing the ocular surface with saline solution, proceed with the UV radiation phase. Perform irradiation with Vega UVA emitter according to specific procedure guidelines. 